See, Enzo Fernandez did not play as a number 10. Enzo, I bought the game against Manchester City as a number 10. I mean, one ball number 10 position. You are starting game no nominally. I am in the position. Say on board number ten, the German coin. And yet, and only see me church you much. Oh, I if you Manfred on YouTube. So, subscribe to the channel and subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on notification now. Notification turn on. Make sure say you do choose all. Send it there. Um, you are first to get all the content anytime that I do put it through. Thank you very much. Say what you see me. Oh, hi, if you Manfred on YouTube. I want to say thank you. Tobia, um, whether you're new to the channel, whether you started watching with me, you started working with me, being here for almost a year ago, I'll say thank you very, very much to you. You're doing some inroads over the 17.5 thousand subscribers. As you see, I'm, I'm very soon. I'm here at the mark is 20,000 subscribers. So definitely, uh, so I'll subscribe to the channel. I'll subscribe to the channel, turn the notification. Make sure the notification turn on. You do choose all in there. It's very, very important in there. And the first preamble no, for any and it's a, Enzo Fernandez is not play as a number 10 position. And now, um, when Chelsea played against Manchester City, I'll talk about that kind of I'll break it down for you. Oh, has a Fifi man for the YouTube. But there's breaking news on the transfer market, ever. And this is big breaking news. And it's the fact that Barcelona for Akacha Branch, Fenny, Ekai, Gunwan. I mean, a lot of people who pronounce it the Turkish German way say Gunwan. Um, Gunwan um, has been told by FC Barcelona, say, so when you're a club outside of the club, he has to go. He has to leave the club because they are moving away from him. And Makano has said several times here, most clubs are now looking to offset players on the wage. It's not ever sure. If clubs can manage their wage bill, they will do that job a lot. So, Oshana said, play on the wage, not ever sure. Now, say, that affect the club, no wage dynamics. And if there is somebody who can come in and do that job, they will do that job for them. But I've gotten a branch of any Danny Olmo. Danny is essentially. And number 10, just like a branch of friend, Kai Gunohan, they can come inside into the house spaces, both on the left and on the right, and they can affect games from that area. It's not very well. Of course, Gunohan can play as an attacking number 8 as well in that specific in the 4th, 3rd, 3rd. But now, back down, up boy with build up and do a lot of work in terms of build up and chance creation. But then essentially, the arrival of a branch of friend, Danny Olmo, is getting the job done. And Nyayeti in the last few hours is a Manchester City Pep Guardiola. I contacted a bunch of friends they want to know if they can bring Gunungan back to Manchester City, back to their club, back to do the job. Now, yeah, in the last few years, and says, as I said, Ophio, Akotima, your friend of Manchester, your friend of FC Barcelona. Of course, everybody thought, say, and the Hansi Flick, um, Gunungan, who's a German, just like Hansi Flick would have stayed for long, but should be told, Barca want to manage their wage bill, no, El Horn. As a stance now, as a stance now, See my friend SSC Napoli um, at the bid like Akoma Chelsea. They've given Chelsea a whooping bid of 30 million euros. 30 million euros for a bunch of friend of um, Romelu Lukaku to move from Chelsea Football Club and join team uh, your friend of SSC Napoli. 30 million euros and a uh, Napoli for the area bro. Chelsea to do that. But it was not going to yield water. Chelsea NJ Sam coming to and I'll tell you uh, the first bid of Modia and they said. They will take Romelu Lukaku on loan. What your yeah, Chelsea? Now I want to hear from you. Do you think sir, um, this bid is a good one after sending Xtenia Chono? Chelsea and just SK win just because Chelsea and have Victor Simon or they should do a good deal for Manchester for um, um Romelu Lukaku. So Napoli for they say they want Romelu Lukaku on loan, on a one year loan with an obligation to buy for 30 million. One year loan with an obligation to buy for 30 million. Chelsea. Akache Napoli for I mean they've not responded to them. They are going to the, the proposal and the bid that they sent to them so they can get back to the Neapolitans. But I can tell you, said one of the things that Chelsea for have been clear with throughout the transfer window, and they said, Oh my catch a club will be asked, so oh, but a branch of friend Romel Lukaku one. Any 30 million as him in pounds, you are talking around 35 million going to about 40 million pounds for a branch of friend Romel Lukaku with add on. So the evaluation of the player are still there is some. The stance between the two clubs, it doesn't look like it's going to work as it stands now. Chelsea don't look like they're going to let Abrante from Lukaku go for that 30 million flat fee on loan obligation to buy for Abrante from Romelu Lukaku. It is not going to happen. Chelsea have now gone, I will now look at the bid now, go back to Team FNSC Napoli to their director Antonio Mana and then tell them, say, they can't do a deal for Abrante from Lukaku for just 30 million euros. However, 
Um, also in the deal, and yet just a flat 30 million in a team of NSC Napoli editor branch of Remember Lukaku. They are also saying that they want Lukaku on loan, a one year loan, and now move your on an obligation to buy. I doubt that Chelsea will let Remember Lukaku go again. Chelsea did let every club be our pair of Lukaku. Club will be your interest in Remember Lukaku. Club be our oh, yeah, inquiries about Remember Lukaku. I always say they want to let Remember Lukaku go on a permanent basis. Now, what I mean is to say, if Chelsea allow Romelu Lukaku go to Napoli this summer on a loan and obligation to buy. This summer, Chelsea will pay the wages of our brand here, the friend of uh, Romelu Lukaku. Now, this is the smart one from Team FN SSC Napoli. If Chelsea will pay the wages of our brand friend Romelu Lukaku, then they can afford not to stress, not to worry themselves, not to be in a rush to sell our brand friend Victor Oshime. They will become wait till january and see if they'll get offers for victor shimmy for maybe saudi arabia if they see him change his mind or wait to see if paris and jama Fono will come back for a branch of friend victor shimmy then if they sell victor shimmy you can use some of the money to come and pay chelsea because how many said women lukaku's wage bill is not going to be on them but i'm sure say the chelsea directors will see it they will be smart to know say allow lukaku not come luna the burden or the shoulder the wage bill and any other people so definitely they would not they are going to say no to some bed not to let a branch of friend Lukaku go away to see my friend SSC Napoli on a one year loan and an obligation to buy Antonio Conte um, and now a loose game and he was very fierce what can say he wants to win games he wants to win games he wants to bring Napoli back to where they were and the coach of friend Luciano Spalletti but it's going to be difficult any idea that from car Say Napoli can just stand it around like that, but they want their man, they want Lukaku. If Chelsea turns it down, I'm very certain say they'll come back with an even better bid for Brantia, their friend Romelu Lukaku, um, over there from Chelsea, of course. And then the conversation between Chelsea and Atletico de Madrid is there. Atletico de Madrid have a game in the Spanish La Liga. Jean Felix, a hey, part of that team, yes, Jean Felix, a hey, part of the Atletico de Madrid team, a hey, football game. You know? in the spanish la liga and in that spanish la liga game so still chelsea have gone back to the conversation with abrantia felix jean felix they've gone back to speak to abrantia the felix jean felix they've gone in there and the conversation is simple atletico for any chelsea have started talking again they want to push the deal in fact corner Gallagher's agents are now willing to push the deal to make sure abrantia for the corner is going to lead chelsea and yet 45 million there about still for the old corner Gallagher fee you know, for corner Gallagher. Whilst Chelsea, ABT has a little less than 50 million for a branch of friend of Jean Felix to come and add to the team. For sure, team. So for me, like this, I've said it several times, the Chelsea don't necessarily need a branch of friend of Jean Felix. But in all honesty, in all seriousness, Chelsea cannot let Conor Gallagher go unless they take somebody from Atletico de Madrid. And the best person from Atletico de Madrid as a stands now is a branch of friend of Jean Felix. And if Chelsea can get Jean Felix for around 30 million, 35 million, 40 million tops are definitely i think say it's a good bargain because he has a lot of potential he's a very good player still around the age of 24 25 thereabouts still a young player still can turn his career around and if just give him time definitely he can go into it and play some excellent 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 stuff oh, hold on. Um, on the transfer market that's what's going on so chelsea still wants to but they want to finish doing the deal for a of friend um uh, romelu lukaku then they can go on and then do for other ones as well which is very very important and yesterday the big game did go on of course everybody is talking and today i didn't really get to enter into the tactical analysis proper i will ensure into what but yeah stick and say subscribe to the channel turn on notification let us get into the tactical analysis of everything that happened between chelsea and in manchester city when the games just start yesterday and i said they said a lot of people were saying say, enzo wasn't good as an amateur to be very honest with you i don't think say yesterday was one of the best games for enzo he didn't perform well Especially his touches in and around the box. Um, one ball back home. Now almost say a penalty. For two of the balls, he wanted a penalty. I don't think say those were penalties. There was another one that he miscontrolled. In the box wasn't good enough. But Chelsea played in a 4-3-3. In a 4-3-3. Usually there isn't necessarily a number 10. There are two attacking number 8. I mean, not necessarily two attacking number 8. There are two at 8. Right? RCM and an LCM. One can be attacking just like the other. Two of them can be attacking sometimes for balance sake one of them can be more attacking the other one becomes box to box come back help the job but yesterday was a little bit different what enzo fernandez a and he said chelsea air building but air building upper 
Sometimes he comes close to Romeo Lavia to help him build up. So a lot of times where you find Enzo Fernandez in deep line playmaking areas at Was City deep to come and help the team in terms of ball progression, which is very, very important for everything that I just on here in the build up phase. Because mind you, Manchester City were pressing with five. And usually a team that's almost spot on every time in pressing against almost every team. You, know, you need to win numerical superiority. So consistently he was dropping in there. And also Chelsea formation on my boy and runner. There was Cole Palmer, who was supposed to start nominally as a right winger, but he comes inside to the right house space. Enzo Fernandez started as an LCM, goes into the right house, left house space as well, forming a box midfield with Caicedo, any Abrantif and Lavia, but in more box to box. But you realize that anytime Chelsea were defending, Moise Caicedo drops in into the right hand side as a more of an LCM job without the ball, and then Inkuku leads that charge from the from, from the front as well for Chelsea. It was a dynamic that Chelsea wanted. Chelsea wanted a wide threat from a branch of the Malo Gusto. In this year, Malo Gusto is rather keeping the weight. Albeit, he isn't as direct as Noni Madweke. So Madweke is on the right-hand side and he drives the ball at you. He comes at you. Um, he wants to turn things around, which is very important. But Malo Gusto didn't do that. Chelsea, at certain point in time, sent the ball to the wide area, got 1v1, got, in fact, a 3v, a 4v3 overload from wide areas. But then, they didn't really make anything out of it. Uh, like I said, Enzo Fernandez wasn't necessarily in a matter, but that doesn't mean say he did well yesterday. Enzo could can do better. I'm sure say he knows that he can do better. See, I have a big problem with the balance of the Chelsea midfield. So, oh boy, Lavia, Caicedo, any Abanti FN, Enzo Fernandez together, especially in certain zones that you want to play them. Enzo and Lavia playing to Enzo and Palma playing together, it's no problem. Enzo and Lavia playing together is no problem. I'm thinking that there is the need for Chelsea to have somebody like Kenyan Joyce B Hall, our team in him, uh, because I think that he's more balanced going forward and more balanced even coming back um, than what both of them will give you when you are progressing the ball and when you are defending. So in games like this, especially against top teams that exploits the minutes of turnovers and transition, because Enzo's best attributes and yes will be defended in transitions. He's not the best in the, in, in transitional defense. He's not the best. Even in smaller spaces, like somebody would say Lavia. Lavia is excellent in smaller spaces. It, that's a little clarity of the role of Abrantia Fernando Fernandez. It wasn't a specific role. It was um in he had things that he did with the ball, things that he did without the ball, things that he did when Chelsea were progressing the ball. And in terms of Akasi, there isn't just one rule, so okay, we are number 10, we are number eight. I mean, especially for that number 10 rule. It's, 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 it's a little bit different in recent times. And it's not the likes of Mesut Ezeomo are not necessarily there. I mean, somebody like Abrantia Fernando Cruz and Mother Richmond can create chances. They can play on at the base, at the apex of a diamond. But that doesn't necessarily make him a number 10. He may play from there, be an attacking number 8. The other side, where Federico Valverde will play, will be in a more box to box, more defensive side for Mother if they want to play like that. Indeed, those are some of the little dynamics of Honor. But Enzo knows that he needs to get better. And I, I think that in the Chelsea team, there's a need for balance, especially from the midfield point of view just able to grab that balance then that's going to do of course and now everybody knows i've been talking about romeo lavia for almost a year obia or she given him rah obia or she given him rah knows that romeo lavia is spot on in terms of quality what he gives you with the ball what he gives you without the ball what he gives you in the box what he gives you outside the box what he gives you in build up on a half turn when he faces the ball and receives it all of those things romeo lavia Pure technician, very, very good also defender of smaller spaces in there. Maybe Chelsea with time in the next few years have to buy someone that's a killer in defending large spaces like Amadou Onanamo and very physical. But it's not just about the frame of Romeo Lavia. Or a small, but the cognitive ability to read a game, nip it in the bad and play very, very well. Romeo Lavia has been the guy. And I think Zendra, everybody did see him in the game that Chelsea wanted to play. So it was a very good one. The Chelsea press without the ball was more mid block sometimes 4141 sometimes 442 and i think that if you look at how city exploited chelsea um, and, and i've said it several times that so without the ball the best defensive shape is the 442 mid block everybody knows this one of the things that really did help manchester city um, and now and he said they've, they've played against teams like this teams are more boy in the 442 mid block what they did yesterday was to change into a 4-4-2 uh, when they had the ball as a 3-1-6 for Manchester City. And that's what they did. They got a wide the wide, the wide overload on the right-hand side, a 
especially after pulling Josko Vardiol, a pulling at Branch FN corner guy, um, um, Cole Palmer to come and press him. Then there was space and overload on a Branch FN, Marlon Gusto, Bernardo Silva, and then Jeremy Doku had overloaded that zone. And it was difficult for the Chelsea team to come in and defend very well. And that's how City scored the first goal. Again, the second goal, in my opinion, did come um, when Chelsea are taking off Romeo Lavia. I disagree with Tobia, who says that that um, substitution was a bad substitution. Romeo Lavia, Epra, the whole of last season. So, about first game against Manchester City, he performs like that. You know that he's going to be an important player throughout the season. You don't want to risk get him getting injured. It is better to keep Romeo Lavia fit and then play him for the rest of the 37 games than play him today, get a draw, and then risk him for a long part of the season. It, it was a fairly, fairly good one. Yes, I have issues with Jackson fitness and why he started Jackson, why he started Cole Palmer. In the eye things, it, um, the likes of Kenan Drews B. Hall could have started in this game, made it more compact against City, and then maybe be more defensive in Sagi, you know, run and throw it in the names of Jackson and Abraham Jeff and Cole Palmer. But again, but again, I think that generally the general overview of Chelsea football, my boy, and Enzo Maresca, and right, and they say you could tell that they are doing something, you could tell that this is a work in progress, you could tell from the build up, which was very comfortable. I mean, playing through a team like Manchester City was very, very intriguing for me. Last season, one of the things that a lot of the teams need to say, Wolverhampton Wanderers, Mo, Burnford, many other, who are very good in terms of defending their box. ANSA, when they came to the bridge, they could force Chelsea, they could press Chelsea seemingly. You know, Chelsea will make mistakes. But this is a manager that has built excellent uh, ball progression and then build up in his team. In team. Um, you are expecting to say against the smaller, less, worse teams. You know, the Chelsea can have, I mean, even better in terms of ball progression. Yesterday, according to who scored up, um, Throughout the first week of the English Premier League, players are my very successful in terms of their passes has been Levi Cole, Romeo Lavia, deep for Chelsea, Levi Cole at the back. Of course, Levi Cole is one of the best in terms of line-breaking passes. Somebody who has understood Thiago Silva, somebody who has studied the job under, under um, Roberto Di Zemi. And then, of course, there is quality also in the job that has been done at Brandt F.F. Wesley Fofana. Yesterday, I think that he was good. His aggression is needed. It's, it's balanced at the back. One a, a a ball carrier, and that's Wesley Fofana. He carries the ball most of the times, whilst Levi call a, a more of the line breaker from the back. If you look at somebody like um, their temperament, Wesley Fofana is more of the aggressor, whilst um, Levi call sits rather deeper and conducts the play from his passes, which is very very important from that as well. And then again, uh, you look at the box defending. Um, Abraham Tiafen Levi call is very good in terms of reading the game and then box defending rather, whilst. Uh, Bosti Fofana would rather follow you out of the box and then come in and tackle over the which is very good. I think that yesterday the two fullbacks were good. Mark O'Crea was excellent in leading the game and stepping in and nicking up danger um, in the bad over there. Of course, Romeo Lavia, I've mentioned him. I didn't get a lot to my thing. I would have loved more for our brand here, friend Christopher and Kuku. But then again, it's the first proper game of the season. Same for Kuku Palmer. Same for our brand friend Enzo Fernandez. Moise Caicedo was averagely very good against team at friend of Manchester City. I was at game and now you're going more on but then definitely you know that there is quality I was at team they need to improve on the performance as the season goes on they need to play well they need to go especially me what i'm really waiting to see uh, chelsea playing against the low block teams now sad so teams that are there for chelsea to break them down that's where i'm waiting to see because um if if you watch chelsea last season i'm about against the big teams when they were playing chaos football when they're playing a lot through their channels when they were um, not necessarily building up play nicely. Any sign of an uh, uh Moise, Mo Moise it was very good in the channel runs, was important again. I think that one of the things that Enzo Maris Capesso and he said, so now uh, Victor Simena, he will not necessarily play him as a target man, he's going to use him to run channels just like a brand friend Nicholas Jackson. Then Jackson is going to offer that competition, and of course, the threats in the box is a very important for which say Victor Osimen. Of course, Medica Kacho said, Charles would have to finish the deal with a brand friend Romel Lukaku. See how the Mel Lukaku deal will go because Todd Bolly, Baghdad, Bali, Paul Wayne Stanley, um, any other co sporting directors, they've been clear to the people say they want to finish that deal with Mel Lukaku leaving the club before say, they are going to do any deal of bringing a bunch of friends Victor Oshima in. I'm very confident that Victor Oshima will come to Chelsea this summer, especially, especially. So we got to say Chelsea at home with Mel Lukaku and Napoli play. Just wait for the news that branch of friend Victor Oshima will come the other side. And come and play for Chelsea Football Club. So now I suggest you now, Enzo Maresca did say after the game, say um, the difference was in the boxes. The difference between Chelsea and Manchester City 
was how Erling Haaland in a, just a few chances of converting and then Nicolas Jackson got a few of them. One of them, Nicolas Jackson shouldn't have been offside. I think that at that point in time, that's supposed to be reading the game and knowing where you are because Cole Palmer is about to shoot. But then again, he doesn't read the game better. Um, he's Gigi, steps up quicker and then ends up uh, and being offside. Apart from that as well, there was another chance that he had in the boxer. He couldn't do anything about it. I mean, he didn't do enough. Um, I'm a flicky, Rumi Lavi, I'm a flicky ball on the man on the He couldn't do enough. And I was a little bit disappointed in Abrantia, your friend Nicolas Jackson. I think that he can do more at uh, our boxing. Of course, Sevito Simeba outright he on a lot of competition. Oma Gina, a little bit difficult for him to play and because he's a top player. He has seen it a lot. He scores a lot of goals already. These are two Africans. Probably going to be like Didier Drogba, any Abrantia friend, um, 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 not Maluda, um, Salomon Kalu, time number one, which is going to be very important. A different player um, at the back, a different player also from the front for Chelsea Football Club. Oh, my name on it. Let us see how these things are going to pan out between Chelsea and it's my friend SSC Napoli. Team my friend SSC Napoli Medical Catch Up. The update on Team my friend Barcelona. Any abrant here? Uh, your friend Ekae Gonohan. He has been told to leave and then make sure so he goes in there and go and do a very good job. And then I'll find another clap for himself, of course. Um, Renato Viega has taken to his Instagram and I saw Renato Viega I kind of said it is a marathon not a sprint and I think that I said that this morning because truly it's a marathon not a sprint uh, just one more game and the players will have to rally themselves together put things together and come in and then play some good stuff uh, on waiting to see Real Betis uh, for now like I saw more Barca for a player your friend of Victor Roque Victor Roque they are very very interested in Abrantia your friend Victor Roque, they want to take him away on Pesodio um, Moko. As it stands now, there have been an update. Jean Felix, um, Aston Villa 4, have been trying, but Jean Felix, but Chelsea are about to close the deal. Here we go. In the next 24 to 48 hours, Metete said Chelsea, and then Atletico de Madrid, a baby, a deal, no? Fabrante Fernandez, Jean Felix, Aston Villa have pushed, you know, more Champions League football. They want to push Jean Felix to join them, but in the next few hours, actually, two days. Yeah, but say Chelsea here we do you know for Brantia friend Jean Felix. Of course, Romelu Lukaku, Medica Kachu say he's very, very, very close to join SSC Napoli. Um, all the options no about for Chelsea, they will assess it before they make a conclusion. In the next few days, Chelsea ever completing multiple deals. Our transfer marketing into stake and stay away. Madrid star, of course, and Charlotte Yaka say they're not really going to buy anybody again. It's just going to be about the players now, no talk about how he used them. Yesterday in the game against RCD Mallorca, I think that the big issue was how Madrid teams play against low blocks, especially using Vinicius Jr., um, Abrantia, um, your friend, um, um, Kylian Luton Mbappe, and even sometimes Rodrigo goes to overload the left-hand side. It doesn't seem to be good enough. I think that these things have to be done to teams that press very high because they will leave spaces in behind and you overload them from there and then you can hurt them but about the cities with this area is going to affect um when you want to break them down so they need to be careful of course married everywhere and now but things are going on in the transfer market especially on the part of chelsea chelsea uh, yeah deal no quickly 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 um job felix no here we go no air but it's getting very very close for chelsea football club any branch fn atletico madrid uh, on Chelsea, any Atletico Madrid, almost chain, come on, come on, come on, come on, and they are going to move in and then get a job done. Let's go to Madrid. Any Chelsea and discuss it. Um, Jean Felix deal, you know, and Senia Kai in the last few hours, and it's getting very, very close. Exclusive Jean Felix deal, you know, uh, uh Kwan is echo very, very close, and it's all for Jean Felix. I mean, I've told you my issues with Jean Felix, but it looks like it's getting closer, and Chelsea are going to get their man, of course. We've also spoken. Of our brand friend Mikel Merino, Mikel Merino from Arsenal Football Club. We will talk to Arsenal and defend the interests of Real Sociedad. Of course, they want to sell our brand friend Mikel Merino for a good price. The price they are, they won't sell him to Arsenal Football Club, and that's what the sporting director um, Ape Beribe, Ape Ribe of Real Sociedad Eka. We know what Merino wishes are, so we decided not to call him up. We know exactly what is going to happen between Arsenal. Any Abrantia Mikel Merino, of course, Maka. Immediately she says, Jao Felix Elbape. It means that Conor Gallagher is going to go the other way in there for team. My friend, and let's go to Madrid or Honum. All of the transfer updates, I mean, they don't come on. Everything seems to be going on well 
um, we, are, we have a lot of updates for you all huh, on Fifi Manfred on YouTube. So subscribe to the channel now. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on notification. Share the link. Let everybody enjoy the analysis. We'll be back once there's an update. Oh, I say thank you very much.